hello everyone today we are going to talk about enzymes this is just an introductory video first we will talk about enzymes history that is the research involved in enzyme most of history of biochemistry is the history of enzyme research we can trace back as 1700 they started suspecting some chemical or some molecule which is at that time they don't know the name of the enzyme their curiosity mainly how the meats are digested in the stomach but actual enzyme history during 1850 louis pasteur he postulated the fermentation of sugar to alcohol by yeast and even during that time also he didn't nomenclate or he didn't name it as enzyme he gave the word ferment some molecule responsible for conversion of sugar to alcohol by yeast so at that time he gave ferments this is during 1850 later during 1897 a scientist called edward buckner he stated that the cell free yeast extracts could ferment sugar to alcohol so louis pasteur discovered that the conversion of sugar to alcohol is mainly by yeast but later edward buckner postulated that the cell free yeast extracts responsible for conversion of sugar to alcohol is a nobel laureate and finally frederick w kuhne he coined the name enzyme so frederick w kuhne actually gave the name enzyme after this there are many many scientist involved in discovery of various enzymes classification naming so many of them got nobel prize for their discovery so this is the brief history of enzymes now we'll see what you mean by enzyme or definition of enzyme so enzymes are bio molecules in fact they are macro molecules so majority of enzymes are proteins you can say almost all enzymes are proteins except ribosomal rna there they have some enzymatic activity so they are collectively called as ribozymes but majority of enzymes are proteins they have three dimensional structure as compared to all proteins they have primary structure secondary structure and tertiary structures so enzymes are bio molecules or macro molecules and what they do they actually speed up the reaction or they increase the rate of chemical reaction rate of chemical reactions they not only increase the rate of chemical reaction inside the body or inside the cell but also outside the body in vivo means inside the body and outside means in vitro here in vivo means in the cell or inside the body vitro is mainly the laboratory experiment or laboratory investigation and in many research many drug industry or food industry so we use enzymes so the hallmark of the enzymes are they increase the rate of chemical reaction so we can call them as catalyst so enzymes are bio catalyst so catalyst means any compound which increase the rate of chemical reaction for example a substrate will be converted to a product b so a is called here we can call it as substrate and this chemical reaction will be converted to product b this reaction without enzyme it may take longer duration even more than a day but when enzyme is there it acts as a catalyst and it increases the rate of chemical reactions million times faster if a converted to b it may take days together but if enzyme is there this particular reaction can occur within a fraction of second so rate can be increase more than 10 to the power of 6 or more so the hallmark of enzymes they increase or speed up the rate of chemical reaction they acts as a bio catalyst the rate may be increase million times faster than the chemical reaction without enzyme so these enzymes are very very important because in vivo that inside the body they are required for digestion 
inside the body they are required for digestion required for millions of metabolic reaction taking place in our body and also they are required for all cell division process like dna replication transcription even protein synthesis translation each and every reaction which are taking place in our body requires enzyme so without enzyme we cannot survive whatever food we are eating whether it is carbohydrate protein lipids they must be digested for the digestion we require enzymes without enzyme digestion will not take place because enzymatic reactions are very very fast so th that means the enzyme is very much essential for life as like the top oxygen or water and many diseases are related to enzymes maybe defect in the enzyme because almost all enzymes are proteins all proteins are genetically encoded they have their own gene any mutation there may be congenital disease mutations their defect or their deficiency will lead to various inborn error of metabolism so we need to study this enzyme because they are essential for life they increase the rate of chemical reactions both inside the body also during laboratory investigations we are actually utilizing the enzyme in order to study various analyte whatever organ function we are studying whether it is liver function test kidney function test or any other test so most of the test in the laboratory actually involves enzymatic reactions so not only it is required for metabolic reaction take place in our body also to diagnose many disease we require enzymes so they are bio catalyst so this is the brief introduction of enzymes let's see features of enzymes so i will give a overview of the characteristic of enzymes so first and foremost so enzymes neither consume nor permanently alter that means suppose this is a substrate substrate will be converted to product and it requires enzyme because enzymes act as a catalyst in this reaction initially substrate substrate will be combining with enzyme so it will make substrate enzyme complex when substrate combines with enzyme it will make substrate enzyme complex and later it will give enzyme and product so that means in this reaction the enzyme is neither consumed nor permanently altered So that means the same enzyme can catalyze the another reaction until its life span or it will be degraded or catabolized to the specific common acids so during any enzymatic reaction enzyme transiently involved in that particular reaction but when products are formed the same enzyme will be coming out of the reaction that is the hallmark of enzymes and these enzyme they exhibit specificity so specificity i will make a separate video for this at this moment for different chemical reaction we have different enzymes so one enzyme cannot catalyze all the biochemical reaction taking place in our body so again there are different types of specificity like absolute specificity that means this particular enzyme can catalyze only one reaction involving only one substrate another type of specificity is group specificity that means here the enzyme can catalyze group of structurally similar substrate so that means this enzyme can catalyze many reactions but their substrate must be structurally similar and another important type of specificity is these enzymes even they exhibit stereo specificity so that means if an enzyme acts on l isomers l amino acids it cannot catalyze amino acid with the d configuration if enzyme act on d isomers that means it cannot catalyze l amino acids that is the specificity and the many enzyme may contain or may require what is called coenzymes or cofactors 
so they are called prosthetic group so usually coenzymes are derived from water soluble vitamins and cofactors are many a time they are metal ions so this is the overview i will be talking about specificity coenzymes in a separate video after the classification so the overall characteristic features of enzyme in an enzymatic reaction they neither consume or nor permanently altered so enzyme will come out of acid after the product formation and they exhibit specificity and many enzyme may contain or may require a cofactor or coenzymes they are called prosthetic group so these are the characteristic features of enzymes so the next video i am going to explain classification of enzymes and enzyme commission number or enzyme code number thanks for watching